Dude, I'm lagging so bad, man. I just want to play the game. Uh, I think I'm... Dude! Bro, I swear. I swear if it doesn't stop, I'm gonna... I'm gonna flip my desk. Dude, I swear. Let me move! Dude, I swear to God. I, I swear. I swear I can't do this video, man! Dude, I'm... Oh! Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes, bringing you a brand new series on my channel. I'm going to be talking about some crazy movement tricks in this How to Go Pro in Halo 5 Guardian series. And also, before this video starts, I'm just going to give a shout out to You Anger Me Mucho on uh, Xbox One. If you have an Xbox One, send them a message saying you're a god. It is You Anger Me Mucho. I'll put it on screen. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, for this jump spot, you want to head over to Blue Yard and actually boost right here. So what you do is you sprint until you see the shoulder bash signs on each side of your screen and then as soon as you get to that corner right there you want to boost not shoulder bash but actually boost just like this like if I was to boost right there it would put me up so I'll show you right here you just do this and it's not a hard move at all and then you mantle at the top and it's just a quick way to get there I'll show you one more time baby easy all right, for this jump, you want to head over to the blue base, and just like the last one, you want to sprint until you see the shoulder bash signs on the side of your screen, and you want to come up to this generator as you're sprinting and see those signs and boost off of it. Not shoulder bash, but boost. And then once you get close to this rock, you auto-stabilize and you crouch over and over, and it actually makes your auto-stabilize last a little bit longer. So I'll show Mucho chains it all together, and he's able to mantle just like this. All right, here's an example. Excuse the lag. I lag on this game, but you just want to run up to the generator like this with your shoulder bash and boost and then chain it all together and you'll be able to jump up and see everybody that you need to see. Here's your boy, you may or me mucho doing this jump. He chains it all together. Perfect. Just like that. This jump spot is not too hard at all. You'll be able to snipe, maybe get a quick snipe off or call out your enemy no matter where they are. And it's a pretty nice vantage point. Alright, for this jump, you want to head over to Fridge, and you're actually going to boost off of the Fridge Generator, just like the one in Blue Base, and you should be able to get to top mid if you do it right, just like this. This is what it looks like with my friend You Anger Me Mucho doing the jump. It's a pretty nice way to get away, or just to get top mid. Also, don't forget that when you do these jumps, you have to sprint enough to where you see the shoulder bash signs on the side of your screen. Now I'm going to show you how to boost slide down ramps. That's what it looks like when you regularly slide down a ramp. But this right here is what it looks like when you boost slide. It's a lot quicker as you can see. So you got to run until you see the shoulder bash signs. And then you got to you got to boost and then slide at the same time right on the edge. And this is what it looks like when you do it. I'll go ahead and let Mucho show you. Looks like that. And I'll go ahead and do it too I guess. It looks exactly like this. When you accidentally boost slide too early or too late, it won't work and you'll boost off and it just won't work. It'll look like this. No good. You can actually do these boost slide. ouch. You can actually do these boost slides going up, so it's pretty nice to get up this ramp quickly. It's just like that. All you do is you boost right here and slide and it's the exact same way and it's, pr it's pretty nice. Alright, for this little movement trick, you're actually going to be able to jump from one bridge to the other. So what you want to do is you want to go back on the bridge, you want to sprint until you see your shoulder bash signs, and then you want to jump and boost at the exact same time and auto stabilize until you can mantle. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and jump from blue bridge to red bridge just like Mucho did. And by the way, when once you get over here to auto stabilize, don't forget to keep crouching to help you stabilize for a little bit longer and then you go a little bit further too I think. Alright, I'm going to let Mucho show you one more time him jumping from blue bridge to red bridge. It's a nice movement. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, comment video ideas on how I can make my videos better. Let's try to hit 7 likes if you want to see the next episode of this series. There's plenty more maps for me to do. And anyway, I will see you guys later. Goodbye! Weapon pads up.